What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Coach Joe in the house, and today we're gonna get a little bit wild. <laughs> I just wanna have some fun. So it is typically an off training day, but I had the itch to do some straw man, specifically things that I don't like or don't wanna do because in my mind, it just makes sense that every now and then a man's gotta test himself, right? And a great way to test yourself is to do stuff that you don't like to do because it sucks and it's gonna make you a better person. Oh, Mr. Ziki, Mr. Ziki, what do you think about doing things that suck? Uh, well, you know, Joe, uh, you gotta do things that suck because uh, it's gonna make you better. You have to endure things that suck. So we're gonna do some axle bar clean and press because I absolutely hate axle bar clean and press. Like, I really just don't like it whatsoever. So, we're gonna get some hype music going. We're gonna get just a little bit wild, a little bit crazy. And hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy this video and I don't know where it's gonna go, but it's gonna be a fun one. So some of you may be wondering, why do I not like Axle Bar Clean and Press so much? And to be honest with you, it's just a painful movement for me. Uh, most guys who Axle Bar Clean and Press that do really well have big, large bellies, these power bellies that use uh, are used as a shelf. To Shoulders of all if Sadrunas isn't here. What? Pretty easy to the chest and... To rest the bar when they do continental clean and presses. For me, since I don't have a huge power belly, that just pinches the crap out of my skin and it's painful and you, it requires a lot of energy to get it to the rack position and then go for the press. Now, if you screw up the clean, it's just so, uh, let's just say, discouraging. Yes, no! When you have to go and redo that. And it's almost like, man, if you have another attempt, you just wasted so much energy to go for that clean and press that sometimes it's like not even worth it, just flat out. But we're gonna do it today. Hopefully I don't bleed from the abdominal region. And it's gonna be fun. All right, gear-wise, what I wear for this lift, we have Olympic lifting shoes, just good supportive shoes. Elbow sleeve, Cerberus elbow sleeves, really like these, these are seven mil, so a little bit thicker. I actually have some thin knee sleeves on because we're not squatting or doing anything heavy with the knees, so just a little bit of knee uh, warmth and cushion, totally cool. And then I'll probably wear two belts because I'm a strong man. As many belts as you can wear is gonna make you more of a legit strong man, and you know that's a damn fact. So. We're gonna wear the Reband soft belt, and then we're gonna put the Pioneer belt on top, uh, and maybe a headband, just for pure aesthetics to look cool. Ah, most people are like, Joe, you are a previous Olympic weightlifter. You must love clean and press. And to them, I say, I fuck you. Ha, big shout out, you know, shameless plug to Cerberus USA. These are awesome elbow sleeves. I actually like these more than the strong sleeves. So if you guys are looking for some elbow sleeves, I'm not making any money off of this, just a personal recommendation. Check these out, seven millimeter, very good. Give you a little bit of a pop, you know, keep the elbow nice and warm and sweaty so that you can press efficiently and safely. Yeah! Come on, you stupid straight box! Once again, the only thing that ever makes sense in these circumstances is just to go up when you keep failing. <laughs> oh, he's coming back, baby. He's coming back. <laughs> Pizza! 
and burgers, baby! Gather round, folks. Come on in to Joey's story corner. <laughs> I would love to give you guys tips on this lift, but that would just be a disservice because I myself am not good at this lift. A lot of the struggles that I'm having is the second part of the Continental, getting it from my belt to my shoulders. Um, I'm either popping it too high and it's almost hitting me in the throat and taking me backwards, or I'm catching out in front of me and I just can't get into a, a rack position. I'm very confident in the press when I get it there, but this is just something I struggle with. I was just trying to go a little bit heavier today. The weight isn't really an issue, it's more of a technical thing, so I have to work lighter. I will say the transfer over from Olympic lifting has helped in the fact of timing on the clean and understanding spatial awareness of where the bar is in relation to my body. So if you have an Olympic lifting background, you'll know that you don't want the bar to drift far in front of you, which is just a, a big you know, key component to the lift is keeping the bar tight. So that's just what I try to do with the axle bar. What makes this a very unique movement is it's a stiff bar, so there's no whip, or right? you're getting no help or assistance from this bar whatsoever. And it's also a fat bar, so grip is in play. And it's different in the fact that there's no rotation uh, from the collars right and you have to switch your grip up so a lot of different variables in play here that make it more challenging than a typical clean and press so it's just something you need to put more work and effort into and it's just a beast of a movement so like i said i'm not going to give you guys many tips on this lift because i suck at it and uh <laughs> yeah yep all right so after that horrendous performance with the axle bar clean and press. Just want to keep my heart rate up a little bit, get moving, get some extra uh, exercises in. So what I decided to do is a couple supersets. So the first movement in the superset is going to be either a barbell or dumbbell movement. So I did overhead axle bar uh, strict press, and then I supersetted with a sandbag run with 175 pounds for about 100 feet. So I did four sets of that, just back and forth. Uh, and then the second superset I did was going to be a fat grip dumbbell row. Uh, for about 12 to 14 reps per arm and then I did a couple tire flips So the sandbag and the tire flips are just some straw man uh, Implements that are commonly used in competition haven't done them in a while So I just wanted to kind of you know brush the dust off a little bit and get a sweat going and have some fun So that's pretty much the workout for today just because it's an off day uh, I didn't want to over fatigue myself uh, that would affect my hypertrophy training that I've been doing throughout the week, but I also don't want to lose my strongman capability. So by throwing in a couple days like this throughout the week, uh, not only allows me to keep training hypertrophy and not affect that training, but also still allows me to practice my strongman movements and implements. Not saying that I'm going to PR anything in strongman because that's not going to be the case. Uh, but once I get more full blown into strongman, it's not going to be like I took a year off or an excess amount of time where I'm going to be backtracked. So just uh, some considerations for your own programming. If you guys find yourself wanting to switch it up from whatever your main um, 
competition lifts are or sport is and a way to make it all work. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for today's training. The next video I'm gonna be uploading will be about sandbags, give you guys some workout ideas that you can do with a sandbag. Very applicable during these times, so hopefully you'll enjoy that. Um, but as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel, please like and comment down below any thoughts that you have about the topic in the video. Um, be sure to start a discussion. Normally when I upload, I stay on my computer uh, for around 30, 40 minutes and just try to answer as many comments and questions as possible. Uh, but your support allows me to do what I do and make these videos. So it just really does mean a lot to me. And it doesn't go unnoticed uh, for all the people who've been around for a long time. I try to really connect with you guys, stay loyal to uh, my subscribers and the people that like what I'm about. But until then, stay a lean, mean strength machine, baby. Keep getting after it. And uh, just stay in tough during these, these times, guys. All right? Tough times don't last, but tough people do. So send my uh, love and uh, happy, positive thoughts to you guys. Keep it up. We're going to get through this together. And I'll catch up with you guys soon. Peace.